praise the Lord this wonderful morning, this uh, year 2021. Surely this is the year that the Lord shall be able to show us great and mighty things that our eyes have not seen. And neither has it entered our mind, neither has it, uh, neither has it entered our ears, Lord. This is the year that the Lord is going to cause us to enter into levels that we've never been before. I believe God for you and I know God is going to do great and mighty things. Uh, I believe that God is faithful and is faithful to his word. Uh, uh, the script, scripture tells me that uh, uh, his word, his promises are yes and amen. That means that everything that God has promised in our life, uh, they are coming to pass in Jesus' name. Uh, and God, this morning, I pray that even as we start up this day, as we start up this year, this morning, Lord, uh, I pray for your, uh, for your, for the listeners uh, that that Lord, even as they tune into this devotion, that they shall be able to receive your word uh, and be able to walk into it. Because uh, I so bless you now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Today, as uh, we do the devotion, I want us to talk about fruitfulness. 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 Now, for, to start, let me read John chapter 15. John chapter 15 says, I'm the true vine. And my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. While every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I've spoken to you. Remain in me, I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. Now, uh, verse 8 says, This is to my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourself to be my disciples. Mm -hmm. Verse 5 says, uh, If you remain in me and I remain in you, I will bear much fruit. Verse 16 says, uh, You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit. Fruit that will last so that... A fruit that will last, and so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. This is my command, love each other. Now, as a farmer, when we always, uh, especially we, as a farmer, we always wait for rainy season. And uh, before the rain come, one of the things we do as farmers is we prepare the land in preparation for planting. Now, the land is prepared maybe three or two weeks prior before you can be able to plant. Now, the reason for preparing the land is so that you can just be able to uh, kill some of the germs that are uh, the, the pests that are maybe in the soil because of the previous crop so that the sun can burn it and be able to kill the the, the jumps and the, the pests and all those things that are in, on the soil. Now, after that is done, uh, where I come from, after you've tilled the first time, the second time what you do is that uh, you uh, till again so that the soil can be a bit softer. Now, when the soil is a bit smoother, when the soil is a bit smoother, then now that's the time you can able now to put your seed on the ground. Now, after you've put your seed on the ground, there is a process that happens after putting the seed on the ground. That's planting. You, the next thing you do maybe after some time, you, there are some weeds that come. And after, when those weeds come, you, be, you, are, you prune, you, you're able to dig and remove the weeds so that the weeds are, cannot be mixed with the plantations, that are the plants you've done, if it's a maize, if it's beans, and all those things. Why do you do that? Because... Uh, when the, the weeds come, they choke off the main plant. Because when you planted, you, don't, you didn't want to plant weeds. You wanted to plant maize. So when weeds come, you will chop off them off so that you can be able to remain with the maize that you wanted for yourself. Now after doing that, after some time, maybe there is rain that comes, it waters the plant, it does all those things. After some time, maybe with three months or four months, depending on the crop you've planted, then it comes time for harvesting. Now, this is the time that all farmers wait for, the time of harvesting. 
we all wait for harvesting time. Because we've been toiling all this time so that we can be able to, to see the harvest we shall get. A farmer will be discouraged at time that he planted crops but did not get anything. He put a seed on the ground, maybe he used 100,000. Then after he has harvested, he gets 20,000. You will be discouraged. But the moment you put 100,000 on the ground and you get 200,000, you get 300,000, that's profit. You are encouraged. Why? Because the seed you've put on the ground has borne or has bared, you've, you've, it has borne fruits. And there's a good harvest which you enjoy after that. That's the same thing God has. Uh, 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 that's the same thing feeling God has when he sees us as his children bearing fruit. Because the investment you've put in God and the investment God has put in you, he desires all of us to bear fruit as the farmer has always waited for the harvest time. And I has put 100,000 on the crop and he has gotten 200,000. The joy that is in that farmer of getting good fruit and of getting much fruit, that's the joy God receives when we as Christians bear much fruit. And that's why scripture says in the book of John chapter 15 that we've read that God wants us to bear much fruit and he wants us to bear fruit that will last. From the story of the farmer that I've given, there is a process and the procedure I've given you of tilling the land. After the first till, you till the second time so that you can make the soil finer. This is the process even God takes us sometimes. God will till you. God will make sure that you are, uh, you are broken. He will break you. God will break you. As the farmer digs the ground and breaks the, uh, the ground into some, some finer particles, it's the same thing sometimes God does to us. He breaks us into particles that he can be able to use. He breaks us into small pieces that he knows that when I put my word in Rogers, it shall be able to sprout. Let me tell you, because when you put a seed on a ground that is not plowed, I'm telling you it will not grow. It won't grow. And even if it grows, the harvest that you shall get, it will be a loss. It's the same thing that God does to us. He has to prepare us. He has to break us into finer particles. That the time he puts his seed, the word of God in us, it shall become alive, sharper than a double-edged sword to achieve that which he desires us to do. Isaiah chapter 55 tells us that his words are like rain. When he speaks his words upon our life, the word of God does not go in vain. It doesn't go in vain. It has to accomplish that which he purposed to accomplish in our life. That's the same thing he does to us. When he speaks his word, his word is, comes like a seed. It comes like a seed in our life. When that word comes like a seed in our life, God desires us after some time, we shall be able to bear much fruit and fruit that will last. But do you know before you reach the point of bearing that fruit, can you allow God to prune? Can you allow God to till you, to break you? into finer particles that can be used? Can we just allow God to do that in our life? Can we just allow God to use us in places where he knows best, it's best for you? Can we just allow God to come and break our heart? There's a singer and say, come and make my heart your home. Can we just allow God to make our heart our home? Can we make room for God in our lives? Can we allow him to make our, our heart to be finer, to be sweeter, our heart to be, to be, to be, to be, not to be hard, but our heart to be soft, a heart of flesh, a heart that can be broken before him. And when we do this, 
There's one thing that is assured of you. Fruitfulness. Fruitfulness is assured to be seen in your life. Fruitfulness in your place of work. Fruitfulness in your marriage. Fruitfulness in your business. Fruitfulness in your career. Fruitfulness in your ministry. God shall cause you to bear much fruit. God shall cause us to bear much fruit. As we start up our day this morning, I want to pray that God may help us to bear much fruit. Now, we, one thing as we read John chapter 15, that will help us to bear much fruit in Christ, is to remain in him. Because scripture says that remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. You cannot bear fruit unless you remain in God. In this year 2021, I want us to remain in God. No matter what, even if life seems hard, let us remain in God. Let us our focus be in God. Let us remain there. Let us clean on this faith. Let us clean on this God. Let us hope on this God who is faithful, who is true to his word. His promises are yes and amen. And after we've remained in God, let us allow God to cut off everything in us does not, that does not bear fruit. And I know God shall be able to help us to do this. And I want us as we, as I finish, I want us to pray for all of us that we shall bear fruit. We shall be fruitful. Fruitfulness shall be found in our life. That anything that we find to do, we shall be fruitful. Let's close our eyes as we pray. Lord, I bless you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, your word tells us that when we remain in you, you shall cause us to bear fruit and fruits that will last. Lord, we are praying for fruit, fruitfulness in our places of work, fruitfulness in our womb, fruitfulness in our businesses, fruitfulness in our career, fruitfulness in our ministry. Even that thing, even our, anything that our hands finds to do, we are praying that it shall be fruitful. Lord, if there is anything in me, that causes you not to make me bear fruits, I repent before you and I pray for forgiveness. Help me, Lord. Help me, Holy Spirit, because I trust in you and I believe in you. In Jesus' name I believe and pray. Amen and amen and amen. My prayer for all of us as we go ahead our business every day of our life, may God make us to be fruitful. As when the year 2021 will end, let us come with a testimony and say, surely this has been a fruitful year in my life. My name is Roger Skadenge, and I bless the Lord that, I, that you have tuned in this particular morning. And I even I speak the blessing of God upon your life, that you shall be fruitful in your life. And God shall be able to cause you to go into heights and levels you've never been before in the year 2021. May God bless you and may the Lord keep you in Jesus' name. Thank you.